guys happy bank holiday well you know it's always gonna be a vlog when there's a bank holiday why not just spend a few days with us and i can't lie guys it's gonna be a very jimble jamble vlog <laughs> so today is saturday the 4th of may it is early may bank holiday happy happy bank holiday today today's gonna be a very mismatch day um if you can see the state of my room the state of my floor over there it's all a little bit muddled up um my hair is still staining everything so my poor cushion my lovely memory foam cushion that's not going to last long after the hair is done smurfetting then we're going to have to sort out the pillars but we need a big general tidy up i'm thinking i might also start to strip easter away from the house because we do need it we do need it to go we need to put some bits in the lock up um the lock up won't be happening over the weekend i'll do that next week but what we could do is maybe give everything a general tidy up i've got a little bit of washing to go away i say a little bit there's quite a lot it's some stuff from halls that i haven't yet put away <laughs> shock um today i need it to be productive i need to do a bit of filming i also need to do a bit of my coursework and i also need to start my receipts because shannon forgot that her receipts are due into her accountant on monday yeah so that's fun um and then tomorrow so tomorrow you're gonna see snippets it's just gonna be like a huge big time lapse but I will be filming a separate vlog because we're doing the afternoon tea cruise. So there will be little snippets that you will see for tomorrow. But not quite a full one in this because you're going to have a dedicated memory day in London vlog with the afternoon tea. Um, Monday, me and Dan are actually, we're going to get a train down to an old town. We used to be in the area of and we're going to walk into a place called Romford. They... I would say Romford is Essex, some people class Romford as East London because it's in the London borough and it's all just complicated. So we're going to go and get a train into, I think we might, we might cross over and get a train into Hornchurch and then walk from Hornchurch into Romford because we used to do a few pub calls back in the day. Um, hmm, I'm thinking what to do. Because we could get the train to there, then jump on a district into Hornchurch. Maybe have a few drinks in Hornchurch. Walk through to Romford. And then from there we can get Elizabeth and the Row. We can sort it out. We've actually booked bunkers. So we went down to bunkers, I want to say a couple of weeks ago. We was indoors. And Dan come back one Sunday and he was like, should we go out? And we didn't really know where to go. And we don't like to go too far out on a Sunday because obviously work. So anywhere like under an hour, we go. So we was like, you know what? Let's go try this place. Because we kept hearing a lot about it. We went down there and we'd done the crazy golf. Which was very, very fun. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a few snippets of it. But they do a thing on a Monday, Tuesday. Which is a weekday special where you do darts and pull. You get them for 50% off. Now, I think there's been a little glitch. So, one hour for six people of pool and darts is £35. So, it will cost you 70 quid for six people to do both. So, I'm thinking 50% off, that's fine, like 35 quid. I done it and put it on the checkout and it come through at £16. Now, me being me thinking, shit, have I done it wrong? Like, I actually need to do two quantity because it's two people. So, I emailed them and I was like, hi, I know it says like one hour is for six people, but blonde moment here well blue hair moment um is it right because i've done it and it's come out like this they said yeah your booking's absolutely fine so i'm like okay so what we are going to do is we've got darts booked for monday along with paul and then we've also booked turtle bay bottomless brunch because they've opened a turtle bay in romford as well apparently the last time we was in romford was i want to say like when did we go bunkers about three weeks ago we didn't really explore much around we just pulled up in the main car park done bunkers and come back they have a waggers which we popped in but they have a turtle bay that apparently is at the top 
And then there's a new Greek restaurant. They have a Brazilian rodisserie. Now, the Brazilian rodisserie, that's been there years. That used to be when I used to go to the area. But they've had a Greek restaurant and they've had this turtle bay put in. So, me and Dan, we've done Greek from Blue Water when we went to the real Greek. And we was like, you know what? Let's try something different. So, we saw Turtle Bay Bottomless Brunch. We're going to give that a go. And then we're going to have maybe a little stumble back to the stations and a fun little Tuban brow home. So, yeah, that is the plan for the bank holiday. What's going to happen? Who knows? So, yeah, first thing is first, though, I need to jump in the bath because guess who has arrived to ruin the day? Mother Nature. Yeah, so I'm feeling I'm going to get actually my heat patches out because my belly's feeling very, very sore this month. I woke up this morning and I was just like, I had the most excruciating cramps. And Dan was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I feel like she's arriving. Went to have a morning wee wee and she was there and I was like, on a bank holiday weekend, really? And you know what that means because I have my little tracker when it tells me when she's due. She's also due on the weekend of my birthday. So I'm like, you're royally screwing me up here. Royally screwing me up. So it's all good. It's all fine though. I am charging my batteries because I actually have no batteries left apart from the one that's in you. So I need to charge that. I need to put bits away. I think what I'm going to do, shall we make the bed? I need to just tidy the stuff up around the bed because there's a lot, okay? There's a lot of stuff around here. There's a lot of bags in the corner. The corner, you know the corner behind the chair? That's like my dumping ground. Can we zoom in to show you? Yeah, that's staying a dumping ground, okay? Because you guys, you don't see that in videos. It sits behind the thing and I'm just kind of done with it. I think what I'm going to do is make the bed. Bring all the clothes in in the piles. We'll put the bits away. Even though I've actually run out of room again. I know, I know, I know. We need to sort that out. And then I want to just tidy up the countertops and I might put all of the Easter stuff into the hallway on the main table and then later on mum's out for the day mum's out with her friends so I think she'll be back about half four-ish so I actually do have what's the time now it's 10 to 10 I have got quite a bit of time on my own but I do need to do a lot of stuff so I'm thinking if I this is the thing when I have too much going on my mind's like la 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 tidy the bedroom, put the clothes in piles on the bed, have a nice relaxing bath, get my heat patch on, get in something comfy, put the clothes away, maybe do the last few bits of that module, get that done, and then I'm thinking maybe start potentially on the receipts. Need to think what to do for dinner as well. Because I'm still going to have to eat today and I'm still going to have to eat tomorrow because I can't lie guys, an afternoon tea at R3 is not going to fill me up for the day. So I'm feeling we need to maybe have a little Tesco trip later. And then will we have a Tesco trip later or will we have a Tesco trip tomorrow? I don't know. Well actually we've got to go today because I need to get some dinner to, for tonight because I don't think there's any grub in the house. Oopsie. But yeah, I think that's the plan. Do you get that? This could be a very chaotic vlog, ain't it? I mean, would it be anything less? No. So first things first, let's make the bed. Let's make it look nice. I actually want to swap over my cushions. Because we're out of Easter vibes now. So let's swap over the cushions. And see where this vlog takes us. But yes, I hope you have a lovely bank holiday. And let me know down below what you was doing. But Shan, stop procrastinating. And let's get productive. <laughs> first things first, these pillars need to go. I say they go and then they literally come back on when I sleep. Because... The way the hair is at the minute guys, we can't, we can't be too careful with it because yeah, it does, even normally Dan has his one on the uh, top because I'm like, if I roll over into the night, I don't want to ruin another duvet because do you remember the spring gonk one I got? Yeah, I kind of, I think I've ruined that <laughs> and I'm like, damn it. So mum said, don't worry, she's like, I'll try and get it. Uh, I'll try my magic. I'm like, right, if not, I need to like raid home bargains and try and get something to get blue out. I said, I've loved the blue, guys, but it has been my most problematic colour and I don't know why. So, yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. I'm going to move the drink because that's the last thing I need to have the tea getting chunks everywhere. 
but yeah what cushions should i go for guys what cushions as you can tell danny's probably like the neater sleeper i've been really um awol at the minute with my sleeping i don't know why if i just almost just trod on the batteries um yeah i've actually been a really fidgety sleeper so i don't quite know what that's in aid of but yeah a little bit fidgety let me go and get some cushions i actually can't be bothered with a throw this month guys i'm not gonna lie because as i say i'm really fidgety at the minute i don't know why so let's go get some new some new cushions and make the bed look nice and then that's one job tick off done right we're just gonna go right we're gonna go for like cute ones today i'm feeling like pink and stitch because this is like my cosmic night one from asda actually this was from so i think we're gonna start with stitch then cute kitty cat message we'll put stitch at the end covering his eyes and then we'll have a lovely heart should we put the heart in the middle should we open him up yeah i think guys that is how bed is gonna look we just need to deal with all of this stuff down the side but for now bed done right i've just put all the clothes in and tried to tidy up the room guys i think i've got too many snoodies i think i've got too many i don't think you can ever have enough snoodies but i'm like it actually looks like there's another person there so poor dan's gonna get out of bed and whack into some snoodies so how best can i store snoodies because <laughs> the back of the bathroom is filled with my dressing gowns so we've got to just deal with that after i have laid out all of my washing so well it's not as bad as it normally is guys we've just got some short dresses t-shirt and my little uh 350 ones they were like my long maxi dresses we've got a little bit of underwear bras bits and bobs this is the holiday stuff so this actually needs to go in my case just a few bits i've picked up and then these need to go over with skincare and that can actually just get chucked in here. We're just not going to think about that right now. And then I've got my fleeces and bits and bobs. I have set my bits up here for my course and my receipts. Because once it's on there, I have to be held accountable. And then I just actually dump the cushions over there with Blanky. Because when I sit down on here later, I'm going to actually need to do it. However, I'm thinking I might try and do something at the dressing table at the moment. It's a little bit haywire. I've just got a new wireless earphones to charge. I just need to sort this little pile out. It's just like all new leads and all of that for me um, phone and that where I've got the new one. So let's just dump them there. I'm now going to run a bath because I feel like this is okay. Or actually, do I just put it away now before I go in the bath? Should we just put it away now before I go in the bath? Because then at least I can come out and be done right let's put this away so you're gonna see this in three two one da -da. all done all done 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 and my uh, outfit of choice as i say because my other nature is here i need baggy i need practical and i'm perfectly imperfect so it's all black like my soul and we're just going to chew on that and oh you're a little bit on the wonk i'm holding you wrong I will then I think I can't get to the box to get the Easter bits away so I'll ask my machine can help me with that but what I will do is maybe start to put the bits in I've just put all of the washing up away and then I've just done another load in there for the water bottles they are soaking away so that's kitchen tidied and then yeah I think I will just sort out bringing the Easter bits in there the back room still a mess we ain't going to talk about the back room and then i need to have the bath now i've got a few little bits for the charity shop just like a few jumpers i don't really go towards and also leggings guys because i'm not really a leggings person now um not like black leggings i like my jeggings it's very rare i wear leggings now unless they're like high-waisted ones so i went through and i must have had about 12 pairs of black leggings I don't need them and half of them were see-through so I had to wear them with long tops anyway so I put them for the charity shop with a couple of jumpers but yeah I am now actually going to get in the bath 
<laughs> I am going to get in the bath and then when we come out, maybe we'll whack the headphones on to charge. How many batteries doing? Batteries are still charging, that's fine. Put the headphones on to charge and then coursework. We'll finish that module off. But I might do a snack when I come out because I do get a little peckish, but yeah. Happy, happy bank holiday. How productive is this, eh? Look at me go. I'm a little bit more presentable. Just got out of the bath, guys. And I'm hungry. <laughs> There's nothing. <gasps> yes, there is something for me to have. I've just seen it. Oh, fabulous. Right. Let's. I'm going to have a sippy cup. One of my um, mini sippy cups. Let's go for the. Oh, great. Now I'm just. I'm losing all my containers, guys. We've got so many food containers and I've actually just started to use do you remember when I went to Home Bargains and I picked up the 10 for 3 quid the black ones with the clear lids I've actually just started to use them because I say me and Dan were getting into the uh, meal prep and a lot of you guys have said how often are we going to the gym you know what we're not going to the gym often I think depending on our shifts twice a week in the morning if you're lucky but we have started going for regular walks um so when we have our lunches together we go for like an hour's walk on that break and then if we're on an early we will go for a walk around our local country park for about an hour or so and with that you go oh i've just dropped a magnet um you go there's like hills and cycle paths and everything like that so you get the high out terrain and low everything like that so what I am going to do is because I'm getting a bit peckish and there's nothing really in the house to be perfectly honest. There's some bagel. Mm, should I do a bagel? No, I know what I'm going to have. Um, still having some juice in it guys. Um, I was on the lemon juice hype but started to not agree with me and I don't really want my belly being filled with like acid at mother nature because yeah that's just... It's not a vibe, is it? So we're going to go for our white Stanley cup. And I've just literally looked, if I can, oh, I can't get the lid on, can I? There we go. Um, and I've just literally looked down in, like, the crystal, which ain't really crystal, it's everything but crisp. Popcorn, popcorn. So I'm going to have a bag of popcorn as I'm doing my studying. Why not? I could have my healthy bagels. I could also be calling... Just eat right now and having KFC. But I'm not. Instead, I'm going to eat a whole bag of popcorn. I mean, we're just not going to mind because it says it's three portions per pack. You're never getting three portions of popcorn with me out of a pack, mate. You're literally going to have it as it is. But how long does it go on for? Because I think I just ripped that off. I feel like it's only one and a half minutes. UK, that's not UK. There we are. Remove the plastic bag, place the folded bag in the middle with the printing facing up. What wattage are we? We're a 700 watt. Oh, that's great. It gives me 1,800 or 650. I'm going to do it for two minutes and we'll see how that goes. So, uh, yes, hopefully I will have a thing. Actually, this might be weird, but when I do popcorn, guys, I actually like some of it to go burn. So I like at the bottom to have the burnt, like, is it cornels? And now we just wait for some popcorn goodness. Right, so I've just took the popcorn out. It smells delicious, but from previous experience, I know not to open it straight up because you burn your hands and everything in between. So resting for a few minutes it smells good guys but now it's just if you can actually oh foot are here if you can actually open it ah! oh that's still hot oh oh yes i can see it now it's still blooming hot though should we just open it with the scissors that might be easier just to go pop it open oh that is some salty goodness and you get three for a quid at home bargains guys how much do you pay at the cinema a hell of a lot more than a quid oh yes mm, mm, mm. fresh salty popcorn 
I probably shouldn't be doing this, I've just done my teeth, but hey ho. What I will do is show you my little setup for when I'm studying. Let's have a look. So, this is the vibe that we're at. So, I like to tuck myself in. Everything is charging around me. So, let's put the popcorn down there because the popcorn will always go there. My snacks will always sit here. And I do always have blankie because when some of these are like 20, 30 minutes like watching a video, I tend to lose focus. So I need something to like keep me going. So I do sit there and twiddle blankie. I have my notebook that I had off Etsy. Notes of a ooh -ooh, legend by All Things Shannon. And then this is my coursing. So as I say at the moment, I am module... Seven? Come on, Canon. Not Canon. Oh, I'm on module eight. So I've only got them two left. And then, as I say, I do have my um, exam all put in place. But I like to just sit here. And sometimes I will have the laptop that way. But I find it's easier for me to write, actually. Oh, actually, no. What am I fancying? I'm fancying putting it there today. And I like my tray because my tray gives space for my legs. And also, gives me space to have my snacks. So it's just gone 12 o'clock now. I'm going to crack on with the rest of this module. I think I've got... Well, I've got 60% left. So I feel like I have... One... Two... Three... Par sections left of this module. So, yeah. 12 o'clock just gone now. Let's see... How we get on, my lovelies. But yeah, I'm going to be snacking and learning. Best thing ever. I was looking like a fool when I met ya. All covered up in the dirt from my past. So insecure about myself when I met ya. I've just put my dressing gown on and I've got my you see I've got my Easter throw even though I took it off the bed I've put it back on because yeah I'm a bit chilly I can't lie these um, shorts are not keeping my legs warm and I've just looked and mum's got all the windows open so I'm not going to shut them because she'll moan them at me if I've shut it but yeah I'm just getting a little bit nippy <laughs> and having a cold water ain't probably the best I should be having a cup of gravy mmm cup of gravy if i hadn't just tucked myself up i probably actually would do a cup of gravy i'm not though i might see if when mum's coming back from her friends whether she can bring me some hot wings we've had a new chicken shop open in our area and the hot wings are i used to love a kfc hot wing but nah they slap them out of the water so as you would have seen there i've got a hundred percent I've actually got 100% in um, both of the par sections of the module that I've been doing. So I'm just going on to my last section within module 8 is social commerce and affiliate marketing. So I'm in my last little section. And this they're saying should take me, what were you, 7, 2, 4, 6, 8. Probably about half hour. It's just gone one o'clock. So it took me an hour to do three of like the mini modules as part of the big ones. So I'm on the last one now. And then looking at that, that will be maybe about two-ish. I'm going to do a little bit of editing. I'm going to try and work out the schedule for next week to see what I can and can't get done. Because the next couple of weekends, me and Dan have got some plans. So I'm trying to like pre-film in advance if I can and like times like this is best for me to do but I also <laughs> need to sort out my receipts so I might see when mum comes back get the last of the receipts because she's got them up to the 6th of April once she gives them all to me then I can put them all in a pile 
And you know me, probably tomorrow I'm going to be up at like 6am, ain't I? So I might be able to bash it out on that. Or I might be able to do a little bit of a break here. The video I need to do today, makeup free, it's a good old sit down with Shan. So that's absolutely fine. I don't need to put makeup on for that. I do need to take the hair out of this though because mum, when was it? I washed my hair Thursday. Mum plaited it. Had it nice and curly Friday for filming. Dan replated it for me. And then woke up today, it's like this. I'll take it out for filming and then I'll ask mum if she can replay it so it's curly for tomorrow. And then it might even get replated Sunday so that it's curly for Monday. <laughs> but yeah, we, um, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to crack on with this part. As I say, I'm all wrapped up now, so I should get a little bit toasty warm. And let's see what I get on this one, because this one looks quite... The topics within this one... Hmm. Looks a little bit hard, this one. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But I'm wrapped up warm now. Let's get learning. <laughs> Just gone, two o'clock, and I'm all done. Popcorn's gone, going for my drink. And I've just sat catching up with some of your comments because I say, yes, I am still working through them. <laughs> yes, I am indeed. I've messaged mum and said, when you come back later, can you get me some hot wings, please? Thank you. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if she does or not because she doesn't always tend to actually read her phone. So I'm like, great. I think I'm going to chill till maybe 3ish. I'm going to carry on replying to some comments. And then I can't do any filming as of yet because I have the Nightmare Neighbours next door angle grinding and doing whatever they are. And this is how pathetic, right? So you know how we have the problems with the people next door having a driveway and not using it. Let me pop you there a minute. So I was uh, in mum's room. And I heard an engine rev, and I see it was one of our other neighbours going out. And he was, like, just parked in the bottom of our close, as always. I then, literally, he was, like, reversing out. I walked to the back room, come back in to put something on Mum's bed, and the white car was there, and I'm like... So these people next door have taken their car off the drive to park it in the close. Bearing in mind they already have another car out here that's taken up two spaces. And then they have someone there. So I thought, oh, maybe like if you have visitors, the visitors go on the drive. Then I was just finishing the module and I heard slam, slam, car door, car door. And I'm like, what is that commotion? And when I look out, they have visitors. And I'm like, oh, okay, like maybe they're going on the drive. No. So now we have about four and a half to five spaces taken by three cars when you could easily get two of them on the drive and allocate up like three and a half spaces. So you know when like people are just pricks to put it nicely and I thought when that poor man comes back there's no spaces for him and I thought even if I try and like maneuver my car his car's like um, a big people carry it wouldn't fit behind me and I'm just like this is the man that he's supposed to be like friends with them but I don't know what's happened because to be honest I don't think that the neighbours have any allies now in this street they are well and truly I don't know guys, if you lived in this street, oh my goodness, it's just chaotic. And I'm like, you know what, you go through all the right channels, we're turning into a bit of a rant here, ain't we? You go through all the right channels, you do your forms and you have to do letters and you have to do logs and you send pictures. Then when the council can't be bothered to deal with it, you have to deal with your local councillors and they just say, oh, well, like just try and speak to each other. And I'm like... No, because I tried to speak a couple of weeks ago and then all hell broke loose at about quarter to 11 at night. So, yeah, of which now police have had to get involved because something was said towards mum that probably wasn't the best and actually they shot themselves in the foot. This is what winds me up with people, guys. In this day and age, everyone hides behind their phone. And I think if you're going to stand there and hide behind your phone and try and use it as evidence i'm gonna kind of call pot kettle black and when you start throwing out assumptions i'll come back to you with the facts and let's just say those in glass houses should not throw stones because they're far from uh, angels if we put it and they're far from law-abiding citizens so since then um the residents us um a couple across the road and the other lady we have to park 
across the bays at a way that no one else can get in to stop them getting in. And then when, say, like, um, the lady's son comes in or the lady's partner or me or Dan, we then can park to get the other car in because it's a very tight close. So there's only about, so you'd get four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 12 spaces for 16 houses. So as you can imagine, parking can be horrendous. And what doesn't help is when you have people taking up spaces when they have a driveway. You know, and then they don't use the drive. That's the big bugbear at the moment. Um, because of those people, we had double yellows put in. We've never had double yellows through like 20 odd years in this street. There's never been double yellows because they said that they couldn't get the swing. So basically they're on a corner plot. So if you picture it, they're on a corner plot. They had a Jeep that would get on and off. They then decided to get a larger car, an SUV, and build a longer wall so that access to the driveway was narrower. So obviously when you come off, you need to come out further to get the swing rad. So now they're trying to petition to get the double yellows extended because they can't get the car on and off. I'm sorry, but don't build a longer wall. That's not my problem. Like, with all due respect, if you wanted to get a bigger car, maybe you shouldn't have built the wall so that it just fit a Jeep and not your SUV. You know what I'm saying? That's like me having a drop curb and then having my little Fiat and then me going and getting a Ranger truck and being like, oh, actually, I can't get it off now. Can you just make the whole street double yellows? Like, it doesn't really work like that. But our council are absolutely horrendous. Like, <clears throat> as long as they get their rent and their council tax, that is all they care for. Which, when it comes to voting, did anyone vote, guys? I didn't vote for anyone in my area because they are all, to put it politely, not worth a toss, to be honest. Because none of them have any of the residents' best interests at heart. Honestly, it's just, when you read their proposals, I'm like, who do you actually think you are? Like, you're not relating to anyone, and of what area do you think you're living in? Because we're not London. Even though sometimes we can be classed as London as from, like, neighbouring um, villages, we're not London. So, it's all just a bit problematic. And I thought, you know what? I don't want to be filming because you guys probably can't hear it on the camera because i reduced the background noise but i hear it and there's nothing more off-putting guys than when i'm trying to film and all i can hear is like background noise you know like when i say you're footloose upstairs and you guys say sham we actually don't even hear it and i'm like because i filter it out with the background noise but i hear it and sometimes like it can throw you off path and everything like that so i think i'm just going to chill to about three ish reply to some more comments have a chill i might actually go through the little wad of receipts that i've got there now and just go through and see what i've got to do and then mum should be back about four half four i still need to sort out something to do for dinner i don't know what that's going to be just yet but uh Yes, that was actually a good little topic. Social, commerce and affiliate marketing. My next two are social, customer service and social strategy. So, yeah, as I say, the one that I've got to film today is sit down with Sham. That's not a problem. Um, there's a reset day vlog coming up. I've done part of that. I just need to finish the end off. That's not a problem. Then I do need to do a fake away. So I need to look for something to do for dinner tonight. And then the rest are just vlogs that I can do as and when because it's what I'll be filming over the bank holiday. And then home bargains, scandals. Oh, I could potentially do scandals. Put a bit of slap on. Kind of want to have like just a makeup free day, guys. Maybe I might do scandals when I come back with some makeup on. But then I might be a bit tipsy tomorrow. Could we have a tipsy scandals with sham? Probably. Probably could. But uh, yes, that is that is the plan, guys. So, whew, chill. I, I can't snooze. I feel like I'm going to get sleepy. I might have to put a YouTube video on, like, just to keep me going while I respond to some comments because I cannot be falling asleep right now. Absolutely not. Guys, I'm doing some receipts. <gasps> oh, the bugbear. I could actually just send all the receipts to the accountant, but I like to I like to be in control, you know what I'm like, and I like to have a, a few things. So when I tell you I have quite a few receipts to go through, yeah, and mum's got to give me some from the past two, potentially three months. Fun, fun, fun!
right, I've done all the receipts, but I feel like I'm missing loads. I mean, I am only, I've only got some up to January, so I'm like three months short, but I'm looking in, I'm thinking, did I just not buy her last year when it come to like Halloween? What on earth is happening? I don't know, I'm looking at it and I'm like, that doesn't seem a lot. So I'll see what um, mum comes back with, but there was loads of like receipts that I did need because what mum does is mum just literally gives me all the receipts, <laughs> not necessarily stuff that's just for the channel, she just gives me it all. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm up to date with that, so I feel productive, it's half three. Um, I'm just going to go over it and like format it and make it look a bit more presentable and then I'll see when mum comes in because she shouldn't be too long, what other receipts she has to give me because I don't think that's right. I feel like there's a lot more that I bought and I don't know what on chicken mum has got the goods I'm starving guys absolutely starving I don't know what we're going to have for dinner tonight to be perfectly honest because I'm not walking to Tesco <laughs> I think I'm going to do a fake weight tomorrow so I don't actually know what there is to have for dinner to be honest but what have I got me hot wings oh yes do love my chicken shop. I've done, as I say, the receipt. Mummy's just getting the rest of the others because I said I'm going to have a snack. I'm going to watch. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to have my. Oh, you've gone really dark. Cannon. I'm going to have me hot wings. Do the rest of my receipts. Well, have me hot wings. Watch a bit of YouTube. Then do the rest of my receipts and then probably jump in the bath. Maybe. Where is she? Mum's just finishing off the last of the receipts. This is the first time you've seen her bank holiday. Hello! She's just doing the last of them, I say, because there was a few that I was like, hmm, I'm a little bit out for the moment. So, yeah, I'm going to stuff my face with me. Ah! Just hit me and balls. I'm going to stuff my face with hot wings. And then finish off the rest of my receipts. And then I might jump in the bath and jump in the bath, then come out and do the filming that I need to do. Because Shannon's procrastinating that, isn't she? But first, food. <laughs> Just 20 past 8. <laughs> I've only just finished the receipts. I've still not even fully finished. I've done all the receipts and that. I just need to do all my travel expenses. I'm sleepy. So I don't think I filmed me sit down with Sham. But you guys will still get an upload. Um, I had a reset day vlog that I'd done all the bit until I needed to go to sleep and then I forgot what I had to do. So I feel like I'm just going to quickly put the bits together for that and put the reset day vlog up because, yeah, it's been very, very chaotic today. I feel like I've done a very... I have done good things. I have completed another module. I've done all my tax receipts. I just need to sort out the expenses. I've put clothes away, aka shove them in so no one sees them. Um, I've caught up with Brogan. I've had I had like an hour and a half FaceTime with Jenny. So we're all good. We are all good. Dan was like, have you been productive today? I was like, I've been really good. And he's like, come on, because I'm like, I have no motivation now to film. And he's like, we need to be in front for the 8th of June. I'm like, <gasps> I can't be. But a lot of the stuff this month is actually vlogs. So I will try and get out what I can. I think tomorrow morning, you know me, I'm going to be up at the crack of the dawn. I think I know what I'm going to do for kind of fake way cooking video this month. Um, I've seen on TikTok a sausage and mashed lasagna. Oh yeah. So I'm thinking of doing a sausage and mashed lasagna for dinner tomorrow. Um, I don't think, I know I can hear mum's back, but she, um, 
isn't eating. I don't know if she's already eaten because I said, I'm not hungry. She was like, no, nah, I'm all good too. Oh, I did dump everything of Easter in the middle table from my room. So we're going to sort that out in the weekday. But what is mother doing? She's here. Go away, you nosy Parker. What is she eating? I don't know. She's got like a salad or something that oh, she's been eating. I've got a pasta salad. Oh, I thought you would have got chicken shop. No, no, I've had it twice. What programs are you? Oh, Britt's got talents back. Oh. No, yeah, I know, but I'm waiting for the hundred uh, percent cup. I've done all my receipts. I just need to sort out my travel expenses. Oh, did you for find the others? No, there's loads of months where I haven't got. Oh, any, well, you're gonna so... have to find her. Mum, I can't. I've just got what you've given me. Well, so you... I, what you've given me isn't there, but I've just done it for the tax man. I can't be bothered if I. You'll you'll find them, Shannon, because I've given it to you. No, all the ones that you gave me. I put in my little wallets and they weren't, I didn't have any for September, October, so I don't know what happened. Mm. Maybe I didn't go spending as much, but uh, yeah. I think now I'm going to quickly edit the Reset Day vlog and I think, guys, I'm going to check out for tonight because I am sleepy. Like, very, very sleepy. And as I say, I feel like I'm going to be up early tomorrow. <laughs> Standard always am. Um, I feel I'm going to be up about six-ish, so tomorrow I need to wake up, I need to go to Tesco, oh, was that my phone bleeping? No, you know you think you see it on your phone, I need to go to Tesco, um, and pick up stuff for the sausage and mashed lasagna, will Bob come with me? I don't know, I don't think she will do, um, and then the riverboat cruise, we've got to be there for quarter past three, so I think if we get in there a little early, maybe get there for say two-ish, we can have a little walk around like the Tower of London part. So that'll give me time. Our Tesco opens at, is it half ten? Half ten, I can get in there. If I leave here at ten, walk down, have a look at the bits and bobs, get what I need, I could be back for say like eleven-ish. That gives me an hour or so to get ready. As long as we're on the tube and the trains for like gonna say half 12 ish because if we get the rail into there and then pick up a district to tower hill we should be okay and then have the afternoon tea cruise we'll be back tomorrow damn we'll be back it's so weird we only have like one night apart a fortnight obviously but it's just strange guys it's strange um i've literally just got off the phone to him as well we had a little Nightly check in and we'll give a message before we go to bed. But as I say, I think I'll be hitting the set quite soon. And then we'll be chilling tomorrow evening, us. And then Monday, as I say, we're off into an old town. So we'll get the rail down and then have a walk from one of the old villages. And go in and we've got bunkers. So we've got electric, darts, pool. And then we're going for a turtle bay bottomless brunch. So, yeah. <sighs> Sorry, guys. So rude. Um. I'm going to check out right now and I am going to hit the sack and I shall see you bright and early tomorrow and what will I do if I'm up at six I can't be filming and rabbiting on at six in the morning because mum will be asleep I might actually do another module in my course because my next module they're saying is two and a half hours so if I give it three hours that takes me to nine I'll have plenty of time before Tesco so yeah let's try and bang another module out shall we Fingers crossed. But I'll see you in the morning, guys. holiday Sunday Ooh. it looks dry and sunny out there but my goodness it's cold oh my god it is freezing I've woke up and I'm like 
I need a dressing gown ASAP Rocky and I don't know why my hand has come I don't know if I've caught I, my hand in the night like I've scratched myself so you see that that's not great um it is seven o'clock you would have seen I was up at half six I had a little bit of a lay in it did go at six and I was like you know when you keep snoozing it because I went to bed just gone nine and then I don't actually think I got off properly until, I want to say probably almost midnight. I was tossing, turning, I just couldn't settle. And yeah, I think now I'm so used to having someone here with me, I don't like sleeping on my own. So I bundle all the cushions up <laughs> to try and like resemble a person. But yeah, I just couldn't, couldn't settle at all. So when that alarm went, I was like... Pfft hell to the no so i think i'm gonna wake up i've got to quickly do my thumbnail for reset day and i'm gonna actually try and do another part of the module might as well be productive while i'm up so yeah that is the plan of action do a bit of coursework sort the thumbnail out first do the coursework even if i get half the module done like it's better than nothing right and then yeah chill i think we're going to pop up tesco we'll leave here maybe about 10 ish go tesco get a few little bits get some steps in and then come back start to get ready for the day and then you'll probably just have like clips of us when we're out because as i say the afternoon tea will be a separate vlog i don't know if the afternoon tea vlog will be up before or after this i'm not entirely sure yet but you'll see wherever it's up guys but yeah happy bank holiday sunday i've done myself a cuppa time to wake myself up time to be productive <laughs> I've done four parts of the module and I'm bored and I'm hungry so I need a little bit of food guys it is oh I dropped my clip chucking things everywhere it is quarter to nine obviously Tesco don't open till half ten I hear mama G where is she is she not here oh there she is you know mum pajamas <coughs> I'm going to do a bagel. Do you want one? I'm yeah. hungry. I need a little snack because, as I say, I don't want to eat before the afternoon tea. Huh? Where's the painter? What one? The other one. Is it on the thing by my gym stuff? Oh, because I put them there when I was doing my thing. Um, I don't want to eat too much before the afternoon tea crew, but I know that sandwiches aren't going to fill me, so I think... I will still do the fake way tonight. I'm stuck now on the idea of the sausage and mash lasagna. Yeah. So I'm just going to slice my bagel. I've been really addicted to these at the minute, guys. Um, and I don't know if I've got any cucumber left. I might do a little slice of cucumber because I've got some uh, garlic and herb Philadelphia. Oh, you can't see me. It's gone bright. Can I put you... A different way are you gonna see me if you go there oh that's very very bright so uh yeah i'm loving bagels at the moment the red onion and chive seem to be my go-to at the minute as i say a little bit of a crumbs we're just gonna pop that in the sink but yes philadelphia can i be bothered to cut cucumber we even got cucumber. Oh, we have, but I can't bother to cut it. <laughs> I'm just going to have this because it's quarter to nine now. So if I have this, I'm going to chew and watch a bit of YouTube, and then I think what I can do chew, watch a bit of YouTube. We'll go to Tesco get the stuff for the dinner, and then I'm thinking set a plate. Oh plate's got thinking then to quickly do a video i don't think i'll have time to do my sit down sham but i might be able to do my little course update one that i want to do so yeah dada just called and i'm like uh, i'm waking up like on a weekend guys you have to give me at least like two hours before i'm even competent that's why i was doing that course so you know you just feel like i'm like my head's not taking it in 
so i done four parts and i'm like yeah that's about it i think also i can't wait to shake this hair out because i do feel like having my hair up all like this it is giving me headache so as soon as i'm back from tesco i think the hair's gonna come down it does look a lovely day out there i am definitely gonna layer and i can't be in nothing like light and lovely because mother nature so i'm probably going to be in something black that like my soul or i might see what we can do my legs are paley white so maybe not get the legs out but yeah i'm just going to do this and then oh actually no sausage and mash lasagna or the cheesy topped waffle shepherd's pie oh i don't know Oh, that's thrown a spanner in the works because I saw another one and it was like a lovely shepherd's pie mixture and then you put big waffles on top with cheese. Oh, I feel I might want to do that. Oh, I'll have to ask mum what she wants because Dan will eat anything. So if I say to him, what one do you want? It'll be like anything. I'll be like, no. Anyone else, you're just like, what do you want? And my partner's are like, yeah, anything. I'm like... But that doesn't help because I eat absolutely anything. So I need someone to be like, no, we need that. Oh, do love a bagel at the moment. I went in, if you remember on my um, last health kit, right, I lived off bagels. And my PT says, Michelle, don't have all the carbs because normally I don't eat bread. So obviously when I'm eating bagels, I'm eating carbs. But they do fill me up and I do really like them. So, oh, this one is hot, hot, hot. So we're just going to go with it. As I say, something is better than nothing. This will do me now, what's it, 10 to 9. We'll probably start having food about half three on the cruise. It'll only be, as I say, light sandwiches and little cakes. So it's nothing that's going to fill me, fill me. And then when I come back, I'll probably be back about, we'll get back about half six-ish. And then I can whack the dinner in. And probably dinner will be about eight-ish, I would have thought. So, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. That is the way it's going. Mum, we've got a very important decision to make. Let's see what Mum wants. It's either, I'm thinking for dinner, two different concoctions. So there's a thing that I've seen on TikTok where, you know, like a lasagna, yeah. but you make it with sausage and mash, or a shepherd's pie, and instead of mash on top, you put giant waffles with cheese. Uh, the waffles. Okay, guys, we're not doing a TikTok sausage and mashed lasagna. No, well, it's up to you. No, no, I, because I couldn't decide. So mum's decided oh. we're going to have the shepherd's pie. And instead of mash, you put big waffles, cook them, then you put cheese over it. Oh, well, so we'll get waffles and cheese. So we'll have a little walk to Tesco. Tesco don't until half ten, so we'll have a walk ten. down. Is it ten? Yeah. Oh, okay, maybe we'll have a little oh, show no. out earlier. Oh, no, it's ten till four today, isn't it? Oh, okay, we might so have a little show out. Earlier, but I'm going to snack on this because I need to have something because Mother Nature, she's kicking my ass this morning, so I need food. I need a bit of cravings. Oh, our little Christmas ball's falling down. We still have Christmas bells in the house, guys. And I had a message today, oh, your snack first parcel is with your courier. And I'm like, great, we're at. So I've redirected it to a neighbour in case we're not in. Well, so we will see. Well, it doesn't matter if oh. not, they'll have to redirect another day. But yeah, okay, we might be heading out earlier than I thought. So I'm going to chuck this down my neck we'll get ready i will actually double check the times just in case because no point getting there for 10 if it doesn't open till half 10 and then we'll be on our way chill eat snack goodbye <laughs>Ready for Tesco. I've just actually took my hair out because I really was getting a bad headache. And look, I microbladed my face and I actually cut myself. So um that's great. Fun facts for uh Shannon and her microblading, but I've literally just kept my top on guys and chucked some jeans on because we're only popping out. Um oh, do I do look a bit red. Yeah, we'll leave this be. What's mum chucked on for Tesco? Oh she's got a body warmer. Have you got a shopping bag? Two. Yeah, we've got two. We don't need that much, but as I say. I know I'm still going to put my um, Iceland coat on. Like here we are in April, guys. I'm still wearing my Iceland coat. But yes, the bed is, let me just do the final touch of the throw. When I say the throw, I'm literally just chucking it down. But the bed's all done. 
my cushions to Dan's cushions because we know when I get back tonight I will be back in the bed on my side and all the cushions will go back on the thing and I'll have Dan tonight. So yes, I am going to put my jacket on because we're going to slowly walk to Tesco, get there, come back and then the plan is I'll probably jump in the bath, get ready, still don't know what I'm wearing because I say it does actually still feel quite cold and with mother nature I don't really know what I want to wear on my bottom half. So yes, um, probably you won't see much more today. I'll check in with you tonight, but with the afternoon tea vlog, that will all probably be on the phone. So yes, let's get going to Tesco. Get those steps in, and it's going to be the cheesy waffle top shepherd's pie now, not sausage and mashed lasagna. <laughs> It's actually quite nice out there. <laughs> it's a lot nicer than what I thought, but we've got all the stuff for tonight. I had to get a big tiger baguette because I didn't have any um, rolls or like small baguettes or the crusty bread. So we've got some steak meat. Now I've got two packs because I don't think that one of them was going to be enough. So we've got that. And then I've got the loose broccoli because I don't know about you guys, but the Tesco packaged broccolis are tiny. I mean, that's still not mahoosive, but it's a lot better. And that was 1.19. So I was like, okay, I can deal with that. I don't think that that's too bad. Let's get the order hot ones out from last night. And then I've just got some mushrooms because we've already got onions. So it's going to be mushrooms, onions, there's peas in the freezer, and then I've got some carrots. And then we've got some waffles. Three quid. Three quid for waffles. So uh, we've got the waffles for the top, and then I also picked up, let's pop that in there, um, an onion gravy because I thought we've got some beef. And of course, cheese. I've got the lighter mature, so. You know, trying to watch figure and everything like that. But I've got onion because I thought I can mix part of that with the beef. And then we've got a little mix match. I did detour up the clothes aisle. And I picked up a dress down to £10. And I thought, you know what? I might even wear it today, guys. What are we thinking? It's like a police say maxi dress. And you know me, I love a police say. So I'm thinking we'll give that a go because Mother Nature is here. I need something flowy but I don't want nothing sticky. Of course, with that, I'll probably wear cycling shorts underneath. But I just don't know what to wear on my feet. Don't know what to wear the feet. So I'm going to run a bath now. And then I'll probably quickly check in with you just before we go in so you can see what I look like. But the rest of it now will probably just be a time lapse until we're back tonight. Two vlogs on the go in the same day. <laughs> City of mine. How I love, how I love the city of mine. Never gets me down City of mine How I love How I love This city of mine It never gets me down Yeah I was born in the city I was raised on its edges My pop work is life When it's gone Box up on love in its center If I could live here forever Think it'd be for the better I love the weather Even though it's fog 24-7 I love the people this is city, I met all my best friends And I wanna thank every brick I wanna thank every entrance to every building That I step in in this city of mine Oh, you most my best moments in life See, I fell in love for the first time In Golden Gate Park I saw my first rap show at Great American Hall I used to beg my homies for a ride Across the bridge to goof off And spend the whole damn day doing whatever we want Keep drove us Right, we've got back as I say, um, I'm not going to say too much about the afternoon tea cruise because you will see that or you would have already seen that in the vlog. But um, yeah, thank goodness I'm cooking dinner. Okay, guys, thank goodness we've got dinner. We've got all the ingredients out there. And as well, you'll probably see this in the fake way. Fake way slash TikTok viral video. So you know what? Everything is probably just going to be time lapse and I will check in with you tonight. But I will actually check in with Mama G because she did get a few things when we was in London. So you can see that on both vlogs because, you know, she loves to show you guys. But yeah, I'm going to jump in the bath. We're going to start getting dinner and it is 
10 past 7, I want dinner for like half a. It's a late night. Oh, I know. On the ice place while we roll up a blunt. And me and Jack will get stony, walk around and get lost. Don't think I'll ever truly pay back all I was lucky to get. Just by walking through the city, no, I'm a small part of this. morning guys happy bank holiday monday sorry we didn't do much yesterday we crashed out after food let's see what uh oh mum's in here she's watching her news yes oh coffee. she's got Shannon, a coffee how have you not watched the fryer out what fryer? when you've used it what fryer the air fryer when was the last time i used it well i've never used it ages ago and it's all royal one uh Hash brown crumbs in oh, there. Oh, I'm not saying when I done my chips last oh, week. Well, when I do the top of the cup, okay. I'll do it. <laughs> um, we had a little bit of a lay-in. We was going to wake up. You know what, guys? I'm actually turning the light off because I've had god-awful headaches. Let me put this one on. There we go. Um, my headache still hasn't shifted, but I think it's to do with Mother Nature. I genuinely feel like when it is that time that's when I get my headaches but we was gonna wake up today and go watch the sunrise <sighs> I mean the alarm went but did we wake up no and it is now what's the time it's five to nine so that's fine we um, are gonna chill we might I don't know if we need to pop to Tesco or if mum's going to Tesco but as I say we need to get the train into one of the towns that we used to be by and then i think we're going to walk into romford because we've got bunkers so we've got the golf not the golf we've done the golf we've got the darts and pool and then we've got turtle bay so we'll see how that goes but yeah happy bank holiday monday is it bad i actually feel oh my goodness is it bad i actually feel like i want a square of that um, waffle shepherd's pie for breakfast. I'm gonna ask Dan, and I bet you Dan will be like, "Are you really being serious? Is it bad?" <laughs> I thought I'm having a square of that for breakfast. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Sitting there, imagine I'm not actually that hungry. <laughs> I just had a thing. I was like, "Oh my god, I could so demolish." I'm not gonna judge you if that's what you want to do because i'm just thinking we're gonna need a little sank before because turtle bay's not until half three right guys i feel like i'm actually gonna have a slice of my um cheesy potato <laughs> no judgment here okay guys do you want a bagel or anything oh, oh my god I'll have something normal. I think I've broken the um, thing in my I think we're just going to leave the uh, thing there because I'm almost smashing it all up. But uh, yeah, all well, these like crusty tiger bread here. Oh. You want peanut butter now, didn't you? Oh, I'll <laughs> I do think, guys, this is probably one of the best, like, little fake way creations that I've done. Oh, where's my slice? Mum will come for it. Oh, no. Mum said that she was going to sneak a slice in the night. She hasn't. She's done good. She's probably losing. Nah, it's not bad. Hey! This is... Guys, don't knock it, okay? Mm. Are you going to have peanut butter on bagel then? I'll see. I said to mum, I said, oh, do you want to see if dad wants any? She was like, no. I was like, okay. Um, no judgment here, guys. I've just got two potato waffles with my shepherd's pie mixture. Dan will definitely come back for some peanut butter. That boy loves his peanut butter. And also... Oh, find um the squeezy peanut butter we had it in tesco then they stopped doing it and they charged three quid 
Dan found it in Lidl for £1.29. Like, Tesco's a rip-off. And he also found a golden roasted peanut butter. So, love that because now I have my drizzle one. So we probably, we've got actually everything for oats. We've got yogurt in there. We've got the whole shebang. Are you doing the drizzle one or the light one? Are you having cereal? Okay. It's totally polar opposite. Dan's having cereal and I'm having shepherd's pie with potato waffle. Let's go and see if mum has such a um, reaction with it. She'll probably say, I'll say to her, did you have any? Did you have any of the thing last night? No, I didn't. I have one little tap of the tinfoil. No? No. I'm having all... two pieces now for my breakfast. Two? Yeah, two waffles. Two waffles and sections? <laughs> yeah. What, one for you and one for Dan? No, I'm having two sections. <laughs> well, there was... When I look, there's obviously... Is there six left? There'll be more two. than six. There's like... Oh, one nine. Bit row, yeah. 10, 11, 12. Some having oh, two. Oh, you use 15 then last night? Yeah. Two each for us. Some having oh, three breakfast. Has Dan having some? No, he's going to have peanut. Uh, he's got cereal. Oh, he's healthy. Oh. I thought, because I can't have nothing until my dinner. Oh, what's your dinner then? Half three. We're going to Turtle Bay. Uh, oh, oh, God, yeah. Do I need to eat before then? Let's have a look. Oh, Mum said just don't get mangled. I'll just give it for another minute. How's your cereal? <laughs> She's in the Christmas elf cereal. Not a fan? Should have gone for the baguette. <laughs> do you want me to do your bagel and peanut butter? Well. Oh, I need a good meal because I need to like get ready for darts and pool to absolutely annihilate this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, even they're laughing, I can hear them. <laughs> <laughs> You know, guys, you're going to be on time lapses, and it will be a close call, I think, with darts. Are and, you left uh, me to laugh? I'm good at darts and pole. I'll be surprised if you can reach the darts out of the ball. <laughs> Why do you think there's so many canvases in the back room? Huh? Lift up some of them canvases. That's where I used to have a dartboard in my room when I was in the back room, guys. Well, there you go. You're no good because you hit the wall. <laughs> I was very, very young back then, but Paul... I don't know, is it Paul or Snooker? It's Paul, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, Snooker, Jesus Christ. Pop the red down, screw back for the yellow, brown, blue, brown, blue, pink and black. Is that how you remember it? Yeah, for oh. Jason Dave. Oh, I never remember that. <laughs> so, um, Dan's got his cereal with baguette. You want some butter? Please don't. I thought I was going to say, don't put peanut butter on that. I don't think that Why? Will go, I don't think that will go nicely with that one. Oh my God. Guys, <laughs> from central right now <laughs> but we're just going to get our breakfast and then we're going to go and chill and watch a little bit of friday night dinner and that ding means my breakfast is ready I never really had a place to call my own So I travel and I roam till I find that But I'm full of adventure So I wander and I venture And it's safe to say that really I don't mind So I have eaten my shepherd's pie Yes, yes It was absolutely lovely And I just remembered I've had a parcel sent through But it's kind of for me More for Mama G and Dan And it's from our friend over in the States Paula who has very kindly sent mum some goodies. I opened them just as a little sneak peek, but uh, me and Dan already know what's in there. Dan is very excited. Which is one. You can tip them out if you'd like to. Oh. Oh, my It's all different types of Reese's peanut butter that we don't get here. And there's all different Kit Kat flavours. Mm -mm -mm. So look, you get Kit Kat chocolate frosted donut. We don't have these over no. here. Oh, is this? So this is from Paula who sent us the oh, sweets no, beforehand. Good. Yeah. Where she live? We'll be going over. <laughs> I keep doing the lottery, Paula. 
And then you've got all different versions, like because we don't get all of these. We get the normal cups, but I don't Ooh. think we get these, and I don't think we get them. A caramel big cup. No, no. Well, not in <laughs> So she said, "There's a little thing for you and Dan in there." <laughs> caramel big cup, big cup. Oh, I'm looking forward that? to these. These look. Mm. No, these are mine, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mummy, you oh, have to oh, share. Oh, well, you just said the lady and her husband give them for me. It, well, it's more for you and Dan because you use like peanut butter, oh, well, but I will right. take a uh, Kit well, Kat to try. Like <laughs> oh, thank you, Paula. <laughs> You've got a good little selection yeah. there. Them, I think, would be actually quite nice. The peanut butter pretzels. Dipped. Yeah. And then we've got this. This reminds me almost like a big Snickers. No, it's like a lime bar, isn't it? But it's a... Uh, it's got peanut butter in it. And it's got little pieces of candy around oh, it too. Yeah, and I like this one. This is But look at the size of these Kit Kats. <laughs> like these are giant size. This is what we would normally get in England. Yeah, a but, tiny but one. Look at the flavour. And it's almost like a double lot of it. Yeah. And then you've got caramel big cup, single, snack cakes. Oh, so we've got one, two, four. I might <laughs> let you have one of them. <laughs> and one of them. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Paula. So, uh, yeah, I actually remember that because I opened it yesterday and I was like, oh, oh, oh I wanted uh, to see what Paula, was in there. she was hoping that uh, I wouldn't no, see no. her come in the postman because when I'm I, the PA. I have to wait in every day for the parcels. When I um, opened it up, Dan was like, oh, I was like, yeah, I was like, that's a lot more for your mum. I was like, but I will um, rob a few of the Kit Kats. So, yeah, mum's got her snacks. Snacks She indeed. was hoping I wouldn't find them, Paula, you know. I just have to be here. If I'm going out for the day, she's say. Well, Mum said to me there was a parcel, and I said, I actually haven't ordered anything. And when I opened it, I remember... No, good job I was here, Paula. Good job I was here. I had a day off from being PA. <laughs> so I am going to now jump in the bath. Your Mum's probably uh, going to hijack put, all of it. I'm going to... Gonna, I'm going to put my VAT receipt in this morning before the tax man gets it and tells them how much he owes me. <laughs> I was talking about that. I actually quickly need to do my travel expenses because I've got to send that off to the accountant this morning. I'll do that while I'm running the bath. I book a flight to try to figure where my mind's at. A spot where I don't spend no money, just some time at. I mix and mingle with the people till I learn a little. I brought some weed and baby, maybe we could burn a little. She said you're funny. I said no, I'm David and I left. Sun shining. Ready for golf. I keep saying golf, we've done golf. It's uh, I was gonna say bowling, it's not bowling either. It's darts and pool. Dan has chosen the perfume today, it's Luby Funk, it's the uh, pineapple one, citronella. So that's going in the bag. It is raining on and off, so I'm gonna take an umbrella, but I am in good old Primark dress and I'm just wearing my loafers in case we decide to have a little walk about when we're there. So, uh, yes. This is the outfit. Everything now will be phone footage that you will see. And who is going to win? You would have seen we played chess. I absolutely sucked at chess, but I've got really bad headache, guys, and I can't oh, focus at the moment. Oh, good. Good headache. Oh. Watch this. Watch oh. when them paracetamol start kicking in. So, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're still amazing. <laughs> I just need to find a jacket. And then off we go to get on the train. So, yeah. See you in a bit. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. One. This could be the first. <laughs> this could be the first thing I actually give Dan a challenge on. He fails to remember every holiday I was brought up with Dada, and we would be playing ball and snooker all the time. So yeah, let's see how this goes.
we're back. Oh god, guys, it's a tad later. <laughs> and I need to edit a video. You would have seen on there, we went through five cocktails, which weren't too bad. We had some food. We, of course, got some extras. And we had a bottle of man, old man cider in the bunkers, which I done good on the snooker pool. Dan got it on the last game, it was 4 3. So, seven games in an hour wasn't that bad at all. But um, the darts, I just. <laughs> I didn't stand as far away from the dartboard when I was a kid, so um, yeah, that was a bit. <laughs> I was like, oh, what do I do here? So yeah, we're gonna see because I'm trying to multitask and I can't at the moment. Um, <laughs> oh god, guys, what am I doing? Potato waffle shepherd's pie. Um. So I now need to edit, it's 10 past 7, Dan wants us to go to the gym at 3am tomorrow. So I need to get this edited. <sighs> okay, it's her for tomorrow, so um, I'm going to quickly, I say quickly, quickly but carefully try to do that. And then hopefully that can, big one. And then we're going to chill, I think. I don't think there's much more going to be going on for tonight, guys. So, yeah, I'm going to quickly work this into charge. Oh! There we are. Work this on charge. And then I will see you probably before we go to bed. I'll do a roundup with Mummy G as well. But, yeah. Bunkers was really, really good. The train back. We had a bit of a walk into the second turn. Got the train back. It wasn't that bad. But, yeah. Feet are starting to hurt a little. And as I say, now he wants to go to gym. So, I'm like... Yeah.